I may live in paradise, but man, I get itchy feet. Sometimes I just have to get in the car and go. And on this particular day, I decided that's what I needed to do. I needed to get in the car, go on a road trip, explore some place I hadn't been before, explore some new road, and so that's exactly what I did. So today I'm in Puluahua. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, real short distance outside of Quito. It's an active volcano and it is one of two active volcano craters in the world that is actually inhabited. Um, the other one I think is in Indonesia somewhere. Uh, so last night I drove up here and wandered around the inside of the crater a little bit. Stayed in a, in a hostel in the crater. And this morning I got up and uh, got a little map from the hostel of some things to check out, some trails. And the first one I'm heading to is a uh, hot springs. Now, I was driving down this road and I couldn't make it all the way in my car. I decided to uh, park it and hike. And uh, I'm glad I did. It's, uh, it's a lot nicer walking this than it is driving. Real comfortable temperature here. Um, beautiful. It's a nice elevation. It's not so high as Quito, so you don't get real winded. Um, really high elevation when you're up on the, the ridge driving down in here, um, but you drop down uh, quite a bit. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful. I'm going to show you around. And uh, I hope that if you come to Quito, if you come to Ecuador, that this is one of the places you'll check out. Um, I don't know why it took me so long before I uh, ventured in here, but I'm glad I did. It's, it's really awesome. So I'm not an expert and I could be mistaken about this, but I believe this band of material where nothing is growing here, where almost nothing is growing. I'd, I'd read about this material that used to be mined here and it was used um, for like a mortar, I think, for building the colonial uh, buildings in Quito way back when, before uh, more modern building techniques were used. And it was uh, kind of an ep economic boom for the communities that lived in this crater area. I think this is the stuff, and I, I can't remember for sure. Maybe it's a type of lime. It looks pretty, looks pretty caustic. I think that's what's going on here. I could be mistaken. It could be some sort of... Uh, lava flow or a little lahar that happened here or um i don't know could just be that this is a seasonal creek and nothing grows here because it gets washed away i'm not sure but that's my best guess So this is the hot springs in the Spanish Aguas Thermas, and uh, I'm, I'm not going to go in. I'll show you why. It's just a very small pool. I wouldn't call it hot. It's uh, just slightly less cool than the stream running into it. and. It's not that it's polluted, it's not, it's just, it's got a lot of rotting vegetation. So it's not water that you're gonna really wanna get into. 
that doesn't mean it's not worth coming here. Um, honestly, it was worth the hike alone. The hike was awesome down this little trail. So, uh, yeah, head down here, check it out, have a picnic, whatever. But uh, I wouldn't bring your bathing suit. It's not worth it. But this is the spot. And now I'm gonna hike back out of here. So what I'd recommend, if you don't wanna hike here, because it's a little bit far, if you don't have a car, especially four wheel drive, um, I think, the hostel rents bicycles. They also offer a little horseback rides. So you could probably talk them into uh, taking a trip here by horseback or grabbing a couple of their bikes. Or if you got your own bikes, bring them. Um, definitely mountain bike trail. And uh, I wish I had my bike with me because it really seems like the ideal way to, uh, ideal way to explore this. Be a little bit of a, I'm out of breath. A strenuous ride back up because it's a little steep, but the ride down would be awesome. So that's my tip. So there is a little campsite um, just above the hot springs. And if you've got a four-wheel drive vehicle, you could drive all the way down here and camp. I wouldn't recommend it though. I'm standing back from the site a little ways because it is just swarming with what looks like some sort of weird big black wasp. Not sure it's a wasp, but I don't want to find out the hard way. I don't know if it's because people camped here and dumped some food or what, um, but they're really interested in that particular spot. And, and there's like a hundred of them just swarming around. So um, if I were you, I wouldn't plan on camping right here. There are some other little camp spots a little further up that might be less um, wasp infested. That would be my advice is to, if you're going to camp, don't come all the way down here to the last one. Hang out up the road just a little ways. So now I'm just driving around exploring all the roads in the area because, well, that's what I like to do. I like to just get in my car and explore. Here we have horses. So continuing to explore lower and lower below the crater of the volcano, um, I've come across a little town. I have no idea what the name of it is. I, I had, there's no sign. There's nothing with the name of the town. There's no restaurants, hotels, anything. It's just uh, almost, town's almost the wrong word. Um, it's a little cluster of houses, a church and a school. A little Pueblo. If I knew what it was called, I would tell you, I will try to research it and put a link in the description. My poor Volkswagen is definitely a little worse for wear for some of the roads that I took on this particular road trip. This was the hostel that I stayed at inside the actual volcanic crater. Um, I'm going to try to say the name again. Pulu, Puluwea. I'm sure I'm butchering it, but I think it's the only hostel inside the crater that's typically open, so it shouldn't be hard to find. And this is the view from the road down into the crater. Um, so you don't have to drive in like I did. 
There is another way in. You can take a bus to um, the Minta de the Mundo, Cali Cali area, ask around, and there's a there's a little road that goes up to a park entrance, and from there, you just hike in. So those are the two ways. Um, I drove in because I've got a car, and hey, why not? But um, if you're if you're getting around by bus, um, go the other route. Don't take a taxi up over this hill. So yeah, that's all I got for this video. Um, it was just a short little trip from my home in Quito. You could do this as a day trip or as an overnight. And uh, if you like this video, please remember, like and subscribe.